What's up guys, it's Roger and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be breaking down one of the most sacred things to a guardian. What may that be? Well, their outfit of course. I know I personally spend about 30 minutes making the most beautiful style I can before I dare to hop in any activity. So, today we're going to do a few things. First, I'm going to show you how I usually style my Blink Warlock. And after that, I'm going to show you some Blink Warlocks that the citizens of Blinkville have submitted. If you don't know what Blinkville is, then you're missing out. It's a Discord server where Blink Warlocks rule, so if you're interested in making some Blink Warlock friends and being a part of the future videos like this, then go ahead and join. I'll have it linked in the description. Let's go ahead and jump into things, starting with my own style. Alright, so starting off here with my first style, this is probably my favorite style, I really like to run this. The biggest thing about it is going to be the Calisus Selected shader here. I really like this one because it has little gold accents on it in a few places around the collar and the belt a little bit on the wrists here, on the boots, and then in the bond. I really like how it's just kind of dotted around and it's not too heavy. On some other armor pieces, it's a little heavier and I'm okay with that, but I like how subtle it is here. The biggest part I like about this shader is that the purple on it, the purple really matches with the astrocyte, I think, and that's what I like to try to do. It's hard to find things that will match with the astrocyte sometimes. That's the biggest challenge when styling your Blink Warlock, I think. So this is a really good shader, in my opinion, for matching with the Blink Warlock. It's a little bit of a different shade of purple, but it still goes really well. I think something we've talked about a lot on my server is, what would you like to see out of an astrocyte ornament? And people have said different things, you know, like to put a little sun in there, make a little solar system, you know. I like the astrocyte. If it were to get an ornament, that'd be awesome. But I just don't understand why, when you put a shader on your astrocyte, it doesn't just change the color of what's already in here, the little galaxy universe, whatever you want to call this, that's already in here. I think it should just change the color. If you could put on a red shader, and this changes to red, or blue, or green, that would look so amazing, and you could change your style up so much, and I don't understand why that's not a thing. So hopefully Bungie would change that in the future, I highly doubt they would. But, especially if they did put out an ornament, hopefully the ornament at least would do that. I think that'd be really cool, because right now when you put a shader on something, this part of the helmet is the only part that really changes, right? This little casing part. But the actual universe in here doesn't change. That would be something that would be huge. Now, going on from that, I just have the Nemean gloves, the Nemean robes, and the Nemean boots on here. I like this armor set a lot. This was the seasonal armor set that was in the Bright Dust store for a little while. Funnily enough, the only piece of this armor that I didn't get was the helmet, which is okay because 90% of the time I have my astrocyte on, so I didn't really need the helmet, but I would have liked to complete the armor set, but it's okay. I, I like running this armor set a lot. I enjoy robes that don't completely encapsulate the legs, because I think a lot of the times the leg armor on Warlock is kind of ignored because you have robes on all the time anyways, so they're getting ignored. So why do you need this amazing leg armor when it's just under a robe anyways. So that's why I kind of like this one. And I like this leg armor. It's very clean, it's very sleek. And that's usually the looks I'm going for with my Blink Warlocks is just sleek, clean, regal almost. And so I really like that. Just the purple accenting, the gold accenting, and a majority white. It's just very clean, straightforward, matches well with the astrocyte. So this is definitely my favorite style. I'm gonna show you one other style that I like to run because I do switch it up sometimes. This is probably the style I use about 65 to 70% of the time. But every now and again, I do want to switch it up, so I'll use a different color. So I'll show you what my second favorite style would be. Alright, so this is my other style that I do run sometimes. Something similar to this, at least. This might be a little divisive. The purple really clashes with the red, and this is why I was saying it's hard to style something like this when it clashes so much. I think, personally, it kind of works. I kind of like the clash of colors, and I think it kind of makes it stand out even more but I think they do kind of complement each other in a way. And there's different red shaders you can use. If you want more of a white and red, you have Crucible Peppermint, which doesn't have much red on it, but it just kind of accents it. And then for the most part, that one's gonna match way better. But I do like Carminica. There's Crucible Vermilion, you know, which again, you'll get some more red on there. It's mostly white all the way around. But if you want a darker look, since the first one I showed you, was more white around most of the robe and whatnot, and this is the way to go. That's where the actual armor on here, these are the Street Scholar stuff. This came out with a 30th anniversary pack, 
I like these quite a bit. I really like the robe because it's more of like a trench coat type thing. It has really nice armor and whatnot with the gloves especially. I like how like it's scaled. It looks really cool. Now I don't like the boots with this armor at all. So I have the Dendrite Shimmer boots on. These came with a donning event. I think it was this year's armor set. It might have been last year's. I forget which one I got. But I think they look well with this. And I like that you can actually see the boots again because this isn't a full robe. It's more of a coat. So I like this style a lot. I think it's really clean, sleek. Kind of like the other one, but in a completely different way. But this one's more leather modern type of look while the other one was sleek and regal of kind of a monarchy kind of king look you know so i really enjoy doing different types of looks like that it really depends what i'm in the mood for at the time and if i'm just slaying out pvp i want to put some pvp shaders on and just do something like this i, I like to do that sometimes so this is my other second look there i have so many looks as i'm sure all of you do but this is one that I like a lot. Since you guys do have a lot of looks, you've actually submitted some in the Discord, so why don't we hop into that and I'll see which ones I like the most. So let's go ahead and hop into our first submission here. So our first entry here is by Wynn, and this is actually the person that suggested making a Blink Fashion channel, so shout out to him. It was a great idea, and I've had a lot of fun looking at all the other Guardians, and I'm sure everyone else on the server has as well. Now I personally like this look. I don't know what armor set this is, but the little constellation type things on there are really cool. I love glowing effects on armor and whatnot, so seeing this, I'm a big fan. I don't know the shader either, unfortunately they did cut out the left side that shows what shaders and whatnot they have on, but that's okay. Overall, I think it's a very nice clean look, and I would rate it about an 8 out of 10. Only not a 10 out of 10 because I don't like the tarnished look on the sides of the robe there. I hate when stuff is like scuffed usually, otherwise 8 out of 10, very good. Next up we have Charkanine, he asks, does anyone not use Astrocyte? I think you're crazy not to use Astrocyte, but uh, do whatever you went on. Focusing on the armor though, I don't hate it, it's not terrible, but I don't like bulky armor most of the time, and I don't really like, like the copper look that it has on there, so I'd probably rate it around a 6 out of 10. That's just my personal preference, all these are by the way, so don't hate on me, I'm sorry, I'm not here to hurt your feelings, but 6 out of 10. Thank you for posting though. Next up here we got Cully, I hope I'm saying that right. Let me know if I'm not. And this is their end of season look. Now I like this look quite a lot. I don't know what armor that is. Maybe that's the Grasp of Avarice robes. That might be, I'm not completely sure on that. So don't quote me on that. But I really like them. I like the little spikes, but then it's also nice and sleek on the middle parts of it. And it's not a full robe. It only does the sides, a little bit on the back. And then that front part, it doesn't fully encapsulate the legs either. And I see you actually have those leg pieces that I showed on my warlock that I like quite a bit, so that's very cool. It's a good mismatch of armor pieces that really works well together. The white on it is very nice. It's simple, it's sleek, it's straightforward, but it looks great, and I think it matches with the Astrocyte extremely well. I would rate this a 10 out of 10. I really like it. Great job. Next up, we have Nat. He said, hello, I'm new here. Here's mine. Thank you for submitting it, and welcome to the Blinkville. Now let's see here. I do like the glowing parts in this armor again. What is this? Interlaced robes. I'm not sure where these drop from, but they're pretty cool. I don't like the tubing and whatnot. It makes it a little bulky, more so than I enjoy. But I do like the bottom part of the robe too, how it actually does show off the leg pieces quite a bit. And those are very cool boots as well. I don't know where a lot of this armor comes from. The Street Scholar Band was a 30th anniversary thing, and Solstice Cloud Drops is going to be from the Solstice. But the robes and the boots, I'm not quite sure, but I really like them a lot. The glow on them, again, is really cool. And the Amethyst Veil is a good shader. It's not one I typically use, but it's definitely one that can be very simple and bring a lot of easy design to your Warlock style. If I had to rate it, I'd give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. I really like the colors and the glow. I just don't like the bulkiness of it. Thank you for submitting, though. Coming up next here, we have Sunny. Now, this is a pretty simple one. I don't dislike it. I think this is black armory robes. So pretty cool. Pretty rare, most likely. I don't know if I have those or not, but I like it. Everything goes well together. I don't love kind of like the metallic shader on it, but to each their own. I know some people do like that kind of look. It's just not my favorite. And this is my video. So I would give this probably a solid 6 out of 10. 
Not because I completely hate it, I like the armor together, and I really like how the top of the rope kind of wraps around the astrocyte. Just not my favorite shader. And also the boots look a little stinky, but besides that, looking good. 6 out of 10. Next up here we have Flubby Tubby. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I love that name. So, we got a pretty simple look here, and I'm not completely against it. It's not the best picture, but that's fine. I know you're on console, so you took a picture of your phone most likely. It's cool. I'm not going to judge you on that. I don't think I've ever used this Misto Phosphor shader, but it looks pretty interesting. Nice blue, purplish. It goes with the astrocyte pretty well, it looks like. On top of that, we have some Street Scholar stuff in the boots, and then some Braytech things, Thorium Hulk gloves. So some pretty simple armor, but it goes together well. You matched it extremely well. I'm a fan. Even got ornaments on them all. So very cool. Goes well with the astrocyte. You have a very uh, long giraffe neck with that, though. I will say it makes you look like you have a very long neck. Overall, I think I would rate this a solid 7 out of 10. I don't love those boots. The same reason if I wear street scholar stuff, I don't put those boots on. Because I think it's the worst part of that armor set. But overall, still looks good. And coming up next here, we have Gummy Reaper. Now, I do like this. I like Arctic Pearl a lot. It's a really good shader, but it has a drawback that some of the other ones have had where I don't like the big bulky armor, especially on Warlock. I feel like a lot of Warlock armor is supposed to look nice and small, you know. If I want to look like a walking potato, I'll go play Titan. So I don't love this. Legacy Oath robes. It's not terrible. They look cool. It's just not what I want to see on a Warlock, and you look a little top-heavy. Like, you look if I put a light breeze on you, you'd fall over because your legs are too weak and that thing looks a thousand pounds on your top. But I do love the shader on it and it all flows together well. It works very well with the astrocyte. So I'm not completely against it. I'm sorry to say, Gummy, but I am going to rate this a 5 out of 10. I don't hate it. Like I said, Arctic Pearl, great shader. Just a little too bulky and top heavy for me. And last but not least, we have Win back again because they submitted a second look. If you ever want to submit a look when you've updated how your guardian looks and you want to show it off, please go ahead. Now, looking at it, this is similar to how I would actually style my guardian sometimes. I would use a Kalsa Selected shader, like I showed you earlier, and these robes are actually robes that I like quite a bit. They came out this season on the pass, and I think they're really good. I like, it's as much bulkiness as I will like on a Warlock, and it's Blink Warlocks especially. I think it goes really well with the purple accenting with the Astrocyte Verse. And all together, it ties together extremely well, in my opinion. I don't know if I can go as far to say as it's 10 out of 10. I am going to rate this a solid 9 out of 10. Right on the cusp. Either way, looks amazing. Do a really quick honorable mention here for Asklad. It wasn't a Blink Warlock style, but they were asking, am I the only one reminded of a robotic kitty? And I have to say, I, I can see the cat. You know, you got the little nose kind of missing eyes honestly but i had the little ears there so thank you for sharing very cool <laughs> well that's all of our styles out of the way so it's time to wrap this one up if you submitted a post in the discord thank you very much i hope you're all okay with me sharing these here i'm just excited that we have a community and we're all posting things and sharing with each other it's really cool and i wanted to show off your guys' awesome styles so thank you for sharing if you enjoyed feel free to leave a like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when i upload in the future tomorrow witch queen comes out and i'm extremely excited as soon as i get some content i'm going to put it out to you guys as quickly as possible because i know we are all super excited to get our hands on boy 3.0 and just start tearing it up but i think that's all for me today have a great day guardians